All right, guys, here it is, Man of Steel Week 7 recap. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a progress report, let you know how I'm doing. Um, you know, this week was um, not a whole heck of a lot stood out for me this week. Uh, most of the exercises in this week I've been doing since week one or week two. Uh, feels like we're just kind of, we've already come up the mountain, and now we're kind of starting the second wave of this 13-week workout really showing exactly how we're going and a good way to kind of compare to where we've come from and uh, that's what I wanted to do in this recap is tell you a little bit kind of comparing my week one and week two to the week seven that I just finished up um, a little bit more than halfway through the workout like I said 13 week workout just finished week seven about to start week eight tomorrow so give you guys a little bit of, a, uh, of an idea how far I've come and kind of compare to where I've been um, week seven Yesterday, which was the third day of week seven for me, um, it called for part of the warm up body weight squat superset with push ups. So 20 body weight squats, 30 push ups, 20 body weight squats, 30 push ups without stopping. That's part of the warm up. Um, you know, to compare to where I come from, week one, day one, you, after the warm up, that was part of the workout where you had to do neutral grip push ups, three sets of however many you can do at a time. And I did 23 the first set, 16 the second set, 12 the final set. So as you can see, now I'm doing it without any rest, uh, set of 30, follow, uh, you know, following the body weight squats, body weight squats after that, and then another set of 30 without even blinking. So not only has my stamina increased where I'm able to do a heck of a lot more um, work and in this little amount of time, but I'm also able to up my strengths going up. I'm able to do more push-ups. So this workout has really become for me a good balance of strength, mixing push-ups, mixing body weight movements, barbell movements, kettlebell movements, really so that number one, my stamina gets higher and I'm able to use uh, weight for a longer period of time. But it's also increased my strength where I'm not, not using the same weight as I did for a longer period of time. I'm actually using a heavier weight uh, for a longer period of time. So it's all coming together. And it's all working for me. The workout is just fantastic. Uh, I'm excited to see where I'm going to be in six weeks when this finishes up. Um, in six, yeah, by the time I finish this up, these videos will be coming from our new training center, uh, Primal Athlete Training Center here in Cranston, Rhode Island. And i uh, show you guys, give you guys a tour of the gym, let you guys know exactly who we're going to be training. And, you know, hopefully uh, have a few videos of some of the kids training and working out using a lot of the principles that Zach talks about on his websites, a lot of principles that he talks about in his videos, and in the Man of Steel. Uh, you know, a lot of the kids are going to be coming in, going to be your classic high school kids who, you know, are going to have some that are just studs, some that are working to get to that level, and something like this is going to help them out greatly. Um, another side note regarding this, my flexibility is increased tenfold. Um, the foam roller itself, I'm looking for actually a harder foam roller, probably go out and get a P PVC pipe because the high density black roller I'm using right now just isn't cutting it for me. So getting healthier, I'm getting more resilient and getting stronger. My squats yesterday, um, you know, were pretty heavy for where I'm at, not compared to when I was powerlifting and doing a lot of heavy, heavy work a few years ago, but to be able to do four sets of 10 with my body weight compared to where I was at this time last year where I was doing kettlebell workouts where I was just using really really light weight and doing a bunch of reps my strength was done um, the amount of muscle I was carrying in my body went right down the tubes my cardio and my conditioning went sky high but I lost a lot of muscle I lost a lot of strength so getting that back um, after a long layoff is priceless um, so for anybody who's wondering about Man of Steel go online Go to Zach's website, Underground Strength Coach. Pick this up. It's a fantastic, fantastic workout. A uh, buddy of mine is actually at around the same period of me doing the, the P90X that is always advertised. And, um, you know, he was able to come over and take a look at this workout. And he actually called this, I hope this isn't a bad thing, but P90X on steroids. Uh, I like to call it P90X's older, stronger brother. He's getting me in tip-top shape and, you know, while if I had a crazy diet I was following, my weight would be going down and uh, you know, be showing a lot of muscle tone and whatnot. I'm happy where I am right now, being healthy, eating what I want to eat, getting stronger and stronger and stronger, not putting on any weight and actually seeing changes in my body where 
muscle tones going up, body fats going down, and uh, you know, I'm doing it all here in the little one car garage that Craigslist built. So check us out here. Hopefully next week or the week after, we will be in the new training center as it's getting built, as it's getting painted, as the logos are going up, and all that other stuff's going on. We're doing our workouts right in between when all that's happening. So check in with me here next week and let you know how week eight goes on the Man of Steel Challenge.